Hey everyone, this is Nick. I got a tutorial for you today uh, to get you started with AutoCAD. First thing we're going to do is get the plot style template together, uh, which is going to make all of our drawings in the class um, look the same. We're going to be using the same colors to represent the same line weights in AutoCAD. And um, what that looks like in practice is that uh, if you see this file you start with, it's called Arch 230 Lab 1 Demo. You can see a section up here with some people, and you can see this plan drawing here. And um, the different colors represent you know, different kinds of objects. For example, this wall is purple. These windows are green. Um, the section cut line is uh, white. And what we do with the plot style table in AutoCAD is it's a way to tell AutoCAD how to plot these colors as uh, line weights. And what it will actually look like is like this drawing here. And so you can see that that white line becomes a very thick line, which indicates where we actually cut the ground and where we cut into these things. The purple or sort of, you know, like a kind of like hot pink or like magenta line um, is where we cut the walls. And that is also very thick, but not quite as thick as where we cut the section. So what we're doing is we're creating a hierarchy of line weights that represent different um, objects in the drawing with different kinds of strengths, right? And as you zoom out, you can definitely see how these thicker elements read more strongly and the uh, finer elements kind of fade down a bit. And that's exactly what we want. We want to have this visual hierarchy that helps us indicate space. So to go back to the uh, AutoCAD drawing here, you can see again, these colors. Uh, there's a list of colors here. We have the kind of red, dark green, light green, orange, purple, white, and then we have a, a set of three kind of colors going from lighter, uh, sorry, going from darker to lighter red and then darker to lighter uh, gray. And that gives us the ability to have grayscale and red um, to you know, indicate different, different kinds of hierarchies. You can see in the drawing here, this red line actually indicates where this section was cut from. So it's sort of a key line. Like we don't really use a lot of red in our drawings. We, we tend to stick to black and white. Um, some of the grayscale drawings might be for some of the finer detail of some of the elements that, that we don't really want to participate in the hierarchy as strongly, but they're still there. Uh, if you zoom in here and give you a shot of the, you can see here, so these lines go from very fine to very dark. And then these lines go also from fine, uh, from basically fine to thick just like your drawing pens that you might have had uh, in your first year or that you might have uh, used in high school. So that's the big idea. The big idea is like, how do we get AutoCAD to take these colors that we are, are using in the drawing and render them um, as these line thicknesses so that we can read space. Um, and the reason we do this, instead of just like you might have seen in like Adobe Illustrator or something like that, like well, why aren't the lines like basically what you see is what you get or why aren't they thick? Um, and that's because AutoCAD really doesn't represent line thickness very well. Um, there are some kinds of line thickness like controls in AutoCAD. Um, they don't work great graphically. They are not the way that traditionally architects have represented drawings in CAD. And so um, a lot of the people that you'll be working with um, will expect you to work this way. Most offices have their own line style tables that they use um, across the office so that everyone's drawings read the same. A purple line is a purple line on any drawing. We all know that it represents a wall. Um, that's very important for consistency. And so that these teams can actually work together. And uh, since we're all be working together, we're going to all be using the same plot style table. Um, in previous years, students have used the same plot styles pretty much until they graduate. And so any any upper year students that you will talk to will have already uh, pretty much you know like been using this for at least a year, um, if not more. And so that's really that's really helpful as well. So it's good to get started with this, um, and it's a good way to understand. Um, you know, like why this works and uh, like how this works. Um, and um, so the way that the file is set up, I'm going to turn on layer. So just type in layer and open this up. Palette. And if this doesn't open up for you, it might be it might be docked uh, somewhere over here. Um, you can just click the little key to pop it off. If you're using multiple monitors, it's really helpful just to have this open so you can see everything at once. But uh, each of the layers has a number and it has the corresponding color. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And then gray 1, 2, 3, red 1, 2, 3. So that's going to give you um, a sense of, uh, of where these actually come from. Um, 
it's really important. So the way the way that this works is to change the layer uh, for a line, which will change the color. You're going to choose the object, or you're going to draw on that layer, and then you're just basically going to change the layer that it's on. So if I wanted it to be purple, I'd go to layer five, and then escape out, and you can see that that is now purple. So you're basically just changing that from one layer to another. The other thing is if I'm if I set my layer to be current, actually I'm already am I already on that layer? If I double click to be on that layer, anything that I draw is gonna be drawn on that layer. When you're working in AutoCAD, when you're when you're making your drawings, you should only be changing the color by changing the layers. Do not take an object and then just change the color. The color should always be by layer. The layer should be determining the color. Don't manually input the color. It's really important because it's going to make your file disorganized, and you're not you're not going to know um, like what's what when you make changes to it. Um, it's basically going to break this uh, plot style table. So just keep everything organized hierarchically on each layer, and that the layer will make the color of the object, and the color will make the line weight when you print them with the plot style table. Okay, that's that's how this whole thing works. The other thing is, do not change the um, line weight with each object. Like going in here and say, ah, look at these line weights. That's what you think is supposed to happen, but that is that's not the way this works. And again, that's going to cause problems for you. Okay, the only way is that you should be getting line weights is through the plot style table when you plot. Otherwise, everything should be. Line weight by layer, color by layer. Okay, it's very important to do this. Like, do not, do not change the script here. Okay, so how do you get this to actually work? Um, if you go into your files that we gave you for this week, you will have something that's called uh, ISU 2018 uh, 821 CTB. That's the that's the plot style table. If you double click it you will get the plot style table editor. This shows you all the colors and shows you what the weights are set to and what color they'll actually draw. Remember, the color represents a line weight. So the color red, which is one of the first colors, is 0.09 millimeters, okay? If you go into AutoCAD, looking at the next color, you can see that this is actually color 106, this um, dark green. So if we go back to the plot style table again, color 106, is 0.2, so it's actually almost twice, a little more than twice of that, um, the previous line weight, and that makes sense because it's going to be it's going to be thicker, which is going to read as darker, and uh, that's your hierarchy. And you can go through and, and you know going up to magenta is 0.65. Uh, if you go into the uh, the, the uh, color white, which is actually in in, in this case uh, it might be color seven on PC. And it might be 255 on the Mac. Um, we have them both set to 0.8. Uh, that's your thickest line weight. So almost a millimeter thick. That's pretty thick. But again, the section line is really, really important. And we'll talk more about that later in this class. Um, I'm going to, after, after this, I'm going to go through, this is the Mac version of AutoCAD. It's a little bit different on the PC version. We don't really mind which version you use, but we do want this to work for you. So I'm going to go through this again on the PC side uh, at the end of this video. So um, in any case, that's that's basically, uh, you know, what that's going to look like. Um, I turn on layers again. So if, you, if your layer thing disappears, just type in layer, press enter. Um, you can close it by pressing this. Um, so anyway, you've got all these layers. You know how to change things to the layers. Okay, so how do we get it to actually work? Go to that plot style table, file we've got here, just copy it. You go into AutoCAD 2018, go to plot styles. This is the plot styles folder that AutoCAD talks to. You're gonna paste that in the folder. Okay, there's your file. It's under the plot styles folder. If it's not in this folder, AutoCAD won't find it, okay? If you ever, if we ever update this file, you need to delete this file and add it to the, and add the new one to the plot styles uh, folder. So we go into AutoCAD. Now we're going to plot this, and plotting is a relic from the days when they had pen plotters. But basically, whenever we say plot, we mean print. This is the model space. This is where you make your drawing. You can tell you're in that because everything's black and the lines are light. If you go into paper space by uh, going in here, this is your layout. So 11 by 17 paper. It's already set up for you. 11 by 17 is free to print here. 
or, or, it's, or it's very cheap, I can't remember. But anyway, we're going to be doing a lot of printing black and white 11 by 17. You're going to click on that. It's already set up with a layout. And you can see, you know, it's white and you can see the piece of paper. And there's kind of margins and borders and that kind of thing. Uh, but this is what it looks like. So your, your lines are now on white paper. So this is the layout. And then we're going to plot that. The other thing I want to mention is that these cyan lines, this kind of light blue, these are on a layer called um, like def points, uh, which if you look at our layers here, uh, let me see if I can get layer back up again. Well, basically they're non-plotting. So anything that you draw on this non-plot layer uh, doesn't plot. So you can use it to lay things out. You can use it to uh, draw kind of boxes to, 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 to sort of align objects. This is your what you're going to use to um, basically help you um, maybe make notes or make or make changes to things without it plotting okay so anything on that layer will not plot and that's what you see here so these are just kind of guides that we used to uh, to sort of lay this thing out okay so to actually get this to work we go plot plot we'll talk about commands in autocad a bit more later okay very important here so you know make sure that the autocad pdf is set up you're going to print your pdfs and then you're going to use that PDF file in the print lab to actually print your drawings. We don't send things directly to the printer. Make sure that your size is 11 by 17, so 11 inches tall, 17 inches across. You print the layout, scale is 1 to 1. Make sure that line objects is checked. Okay, all that stuff should be up by default. If that stuff is changed, things might not work for you, so pay attention. Now go to the plot style table. Change your plot style to ISU 2018 821. And then you'll be able to preview the drawing. So just click preview. And you'll know that things work because you'll see the line thicknesses. You'll see these in sort of ascending order as these are in ascending order. And that, and that looks right. If you plot that, that will look right. I will tell you, and I'll tell you over and over again, no matter what things look like on the screen, they're going to look slightly different when you actually print them. It's very important to always print to check your work and, and, and make sure that you've printed before your final. Um, I know it's a hassle, but, but you're really not getting the full range of line weights until you print. The screen does not really represent things very well. Um, the reason why we still print today is because it's important for us to make notes on your drawings and to help you um, by making comments on them, and also so that we can look at everyone's drawings at the same time. We're still not in the place where we have enough screens and enough you know, technology that we can avoid actually printing. And so uh, it's still something that we're going to deal with. So when you're actually done and you're satisfied with the preview, you can go ahead and hit plot, and then that will actually save your PDF file. And that's what you'll use to print whenever you're printing something. Okay. So this whole process is going to be something that you do pretty pretty frequently. Um, but in the meantime, um, this is just a first kind of um, a first kind of demonstration of that. If your drawing does not look like the one that I just showed you, and actually, when you do this the first time, I should say you want to go apply to layout. That'll make sure that these settings stick. Okay. So when you preview it, if it doesn't look like this you ran into some trouble somewhere and you need to go back and make sure that that works. Okay, it has to look like this. Um, if uh, you still have trouble, let us know, but that should that should take care of it for you. Um, later on, we'll talk about how to actually make drawings with these weights and things, but I just wanted to set those concepts out right away. Okay, so quick, quick review, just to be sure we're on the same page here. It's really important to have line weights in our drawings because that's how we represent space in our and our sort of architectural um, work. Um, we want to be consistent, and that's why we have these line style tables. Um, the, the plot style just takes a color in the digital drawing and converts it to a line weight when you um, actually make a plot. We only apply those colors by changing the layers that our objects are on. We don't draw our colors and we don't draw uh, and we don't change the line weights. Everything is always by layer. Okay, that's the only way that this works. Otherwise, it gets really confusing. Okay, so practice that. We'll follow up with you on the assignment. But that's that's the gist of how to get this working uh, for the first part. Um, I'm going to follow up right now with a video that's going to show you how to do this on the PC side. So I'll see you soon.